looking to create the perfect defect in Jira. Let's start by taking a brief journey into the world of Jira. A powerhouse in the realm of software development, Jira is more than just a project management tool. It's a platform that enables teams to plan, track, and manage their software development processes effectively. For software testers, Jira is a trusted ally, an essential tool helping them keep track of testing and defects, ensuring the delivery of high-quality software. So, what exactly is a defect? Picture this. You're a software tester, meticulously testing the functionalities of a software. Suddenly, you stumble upon a feature that isn't working as expected. Bingo! You've found a defect. A defect, also known as a bug, is a system error that causes a program to produce incorrect results or to behave in unintended ways. Now, why are defects important? Well, they're integral to improving software quality. Each defect you find and report is an opportunity to enhance the software, making it more efficient, reliable, and user-friendly. But here's the catch. Not all defects are created equal. A well-documented defect can speed up the debugging process, while a poorly written one can lead to confusion, miscommunication, and delays. That's where the art of creating a perfect defect in JIRA comes into play. Creating a defect in JIRA is not just about pointing out an error. It's about providing a clear, concise, and complete summary of the issue. It's about being specific, making your report easily readable, and indicating the priority of the defect. It's about writing steps to reproduce the defect, making it easier for developers to understand and fix the issue. Crafting a defect in JIRA involves a methodical approach that necessitates keen observation and documentation. The key lies in comprehending the defect, recording it with precision, and conveying it proficiently. The first step in creating a perfect defect in JIRA is to prepare the right title known as the Defect Summary. This is more than just a headline. It's a concise summary that points directly to the heart of the issue. Like a signpost, it guides the responsible developer to the exact area of function where the bug has set up camp. It's not just about saying, there's a bug. It's about saying, here's where the bug is and here's what it's doing. Your summary should be a spotlight, illuminating the type of bug that's causing the issue. This is crucial because it helps the developer react swiftly and accurately. Imagine trying to find a lost item in a dark room. That's what it's like for a developer trying to fix a bug without a clear, specific title. So when you sit down to write your defect summary, think of it as your first, and perhaps most important, communication with the developer. A descriptive and specific summary sets the tone for a well-documented defect. It also makes it easy to search and identify the issue in JIRA. Being specific is the key to creating a perfect defect in JIRA. You see, it's not enough to merely state that there's an issue. You need to provide as much specific information as possible. This isn't a time for being vague or non-committal. This is a time for precision and clarity. So let's start with the basics. First, ensure you are creating the defect in the right project. Selecting the wrong project will mean your defect will not go to the correct team. Since JIRA can be customized for your project, you will need to be aware of specific form fields configured for each JIRA issue type. Now select the issue type which normally is bug, epic, story, or task. Because we are creating a defect, you should select bug as your issue type. If the fields are available, select the fix version, component, and environment where the bug occurred. These are the essential coordinates that will guide your developer directly to the problem. Think of it like giving directions. You wouldn't just say, it's over there somewhere. You'd give specific landmarks, turn-by-turn -turn instructions, and, if possible, the exact address. Similarly, within the description field, describe the situation in which the bug was revealed. Paint a picture with your words, so the reader can understand and visualize it. This is your chance to let your storytelling skills shine. Don't just say, the software crashed. Instead, narrate what happened. I was trying to upload a file when the software suddenly froze and then crashed. Now, if you want to go the extra mile, and I know you do, you can also check for console error logs for more details. This is like being a detective at a crime scene. JavaScript errors for a website application can provide crucial evidence that can help identify the culprit. This approach can help avoid misunderstandings and save everyone a lot of time. Remember, 
The goal here is to provide a clear, precise, and comprehensive report of the issue. The more specific you are, the faster the developers can identify and rectify the problem. It's like giving them a roadmap to the solution. So, next time you're creating a defect in JIRA, remember to be specific. Provide as much detail as you can, and then provide a little more. You'll be amazed at how much smoother the process becomes when everyone knows exactly what they're dealing with. Detailed and specific information leads to efficient reporting and swift action. So, let's be specific, let's be accurate, and let's create perfect defects. Now that we've discussed the importance of specific details, let's focus on making your report readable and digestible. It's not about the quantity of words, but rather the quality of the information you share. The developer who reads your report should be able to grasp the problem swiftly and understand it without needing to decipher complex jargon or unnecessary details. Each sentence should be a nugget of relevant information, a piece of the puzzle that helps paint a clear picture of the defect. Your report isn't a place for opinions or conjectures. Stick to the facts. Describe the issue as it is, not as you think it should be. This approach will help eliminate any room for misinterpretation or confusion. Now how can we make the report easily readable? Here's where formatting comes in. Break up your text with numeric lists and bullet points. This not only makes the report more visually appealing, but also makes it easier for the reader to digest the information. It's like serving a meal in bite-sized portions, rather than as one overwhelming feast. Another crucial part of making your report readable is to proofread it. Yes, you heard me right. Read it a few times before you hit that create button. Check for any typos, grammatical errors, or unclear phrases. Just like we want our software to be bug-free, we want our reports to be as well. In the end, a readable report is a useful report. It speeds up the defect fixing process by making it easier for developers to understand the issue at hand. It's not just about finding defects, it's about communicating them effectively. So keep it simple, keep it clear, and keep it concise. Your future self and your developers will thank you for it. Every defect report must highlight its priority. Perhaps you're wondering, why rank bugs? Let's get into it. Not all bugs are built the same. Some are minor, like tiny graphic or text glitches, and others are serious problems, like a defect that hampers key software functions. Serious bugs need immediate fixing, whilst the minor ones can queue up. So, what's the method to separate these bugs? Priority is the key. Priority helps in determining the sequence in which we address these bugs. A high-priority bug demands immediate attention, whereas a low-priority bug can be handled later. By grading bugs on priority, we can triage our tasks more effectively. We are clear about which bugs to deal with first and which ones can linger. This not only aids in better time management, but also ensures that the most critical issues are resolved first. Differentiating and ranking bugs in terms of priority is indispensable for smooth operations. The final step in creating a perfect defect in JIRA is to write the steps to reproduce the defect. This part is as crucial as the summary itself. Why so? It's simple. When developers are looking to fix a defect, they need to see it for themselves. They need to walk in your shoes, follow your path, and encounter the bug in the same way you did. It's like leaving breadcrumbs for them to follow. To do this effectively, you need to be clear, concise, and complete. Start from the very beginning, the point where everything was working just fine. Then, Guide them step by step through your journey, leading them to the exact moment when things went south. Remember, you're not writing a mystery novel. There should be no twists and turns, no suspense, no ambiguity. Your goal is to let them relive your experience, not to keep them guessing. So avoid vague terms like, and then something weird happened. Instead, be specific. Say something like, when I clicked the save button, the application crashed. Also, don't assume that they know what you know. Even if something seems obvious to you, spell it out. The more information you provide, the less back and forth there will be, and the quicker the bug will be fixed. Clear steps to reproduce the defect are the final piece in the puzzle of creating a perfect defect in JIRA. Moving on to the next step, let's talk about the importance of including screenshots or screen recordings in your defect report. These visual aids can greatly enhance the clarity of your report. 
giving the developers a visual representation of the problem. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and when it comes to defect reporting, this couldn't be more accurate. When you come across a complex defect, it may be difficult to describe it in words. In such cases, a screenshot or screen recording can make a big difference. It can show exactly what went wrong and where it went wrong. So if possible, always try to include a screenshot or a screen recording of the defect. To do this, simply reproduce the defect, capture the screen and attach the image or the video to your defect description. But remember, this is not a substitute for a well-written defect report. It is an addition to it. It complements your words, not replaces them. So even if you include a screenshot or a screen recording, make sure to write a clear and concise description of the defect.